Hey there, everyone. We have some new squares. I'm going to show you squares that I see here. The cube UFOs or cube uh, square shaped forms that I see. Unidentified flying objects. They're cubes for sure. Flying in the sky, but over here, over my house. Going to see some UFO interaction with the infrared camera too, because we missed the infrared camera. Still very quiet here in the sky. I haven't seen UFOs for three weeks here in the sky, but then again, the weather is not the best either, but I'm not going to hide it. It's been very, very quiet and I've not been seeing as many lights as I usually always have seen. <laughs> it's only a matter of time. We saw these on the surface of the moon. Those are those amazing squares on the surface, right? So we're going to take another look at them again, differently, closer. Wait till you see with the exposure taken down. When you take down the exposure, um, because I want to bring you to see another one that I caught, but before, look when we bring down the exposure. The square should disappear. Usually it gets round. All shapes, when you bring down the exposure, get round. But this one remains very, very square. So we're going to go see a square. And this is on the moon, by the way, not in infrared. Now we are in infrared. We're going to get in pretty close. So we are going to see some pixelation on that light, just like NASA shows its asteroids right it's okay for nasa to show pixelation but not an amateur astronomer right people have no idea what nasa really gets take a look at their work nothing that impressive uh, oh my goodness did you see that now what is that well it's the exact same square as i showed you on the moon so this is really cool i went and got it in my footage very recent of course it was two months ago three months ago maximum just before it all uh, went to the sh went to shits <laughs> if you want and there's that square let's zoom in really close to see the square it is identical to the one that we're seeing on the moon and i think that's really cool it's in the sky they've been seen before i've seen the very rare blue ufos you all there it is look at that you guys and gals remember that the 219 218 the the blue ufos with their lights doo -doo 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 -doo, they would move fast in the sky Here's a rectangle shape, and most often, some of the shapes, most often the ones that I'm uh, capturing are squares and rectangles that I'm seeing. This is what I see on the moon. This is what I see um, here on Earth, too. Uh, but honestly, most of the time, it's just the light we see here with the infrared, except that last video of that very, very close UFO. I see a lot of weird stuff with the infrared camera in the sky. A lot of weird stuff. And a lot of sky phenomena. It's not for nothing the word phenomenon, eh? Phenomena is, is um, came to be. Because you see different um, things in the sky. Sure, there are always lights, but they're doing different things. Look at this. Here's a light that's going to appear. There's two of them. There's also another light over top. You can see the light is hazing through the image here because there's light appearing. And just this object that's going by... Um, there's two UFOs right now in the screen in front of you. And now look at here, over top, a smaller one. And again, the other larger UFO is practically stopped, going very, very slow as we see it in the sky. These were moments that were just so damn exciting. There's that light again over top of it. It's weird. It's an interaction with um, themselves. Whatever it may be, it's unknown to us. But still, there is a definite interaction. Here's just with the green filter. People aren't impressed seeing one UFO come out of the ground and leaving on the moon. Well, second one right here on the right. Keep looking. There's the third getting ready to take off. There are always UFOs leaving the surface of the moon. Nobody knows it. I do. Do you have the coordinates, Bruce? Yeah. The moon. Check it out. Fire on the surface. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. We're going to look at that real slow. But first, let's look at it quickly. Real speed. Boom. This light's going by. It's actually something spiraling. A light appears underneath it. And you see fire appearing on the surface. Here, slower. Watch it. The light's going, there's a, uh, see the red spot? Three, two, one, close to the surface. It should hit the surface. 
there's the illumination, there's the fire on the surface, and at the same time, you're seeing that other object go by. That actually looks like it's on fire too. Now this, I was really excited to show you because it is an object, obviously dark object that is on fire. Okay, it looks triangular. Many frames, most frames, and you see that red line of fire on the other end of the dark object. Let's look at it really close up to get an idea. See it? Look at it, the shape of it as it's turning around. You see it's a dark object that has fire on both sides. There it looks triangular. We'll look at it different ways. Check it out. Like a pyramid form, right? Or a triangle. You can see the point there in the fire that heats on the top coming from underneath it. You can see it in the back. Almost looks like a craft, too, that's out of control. However, however, we may find it out of control. Maybe it's the way it's driving or just, yep, an asteroid or meteor. But you can still see that uh, dark object in the center separating both sides of the heat. So there's a little bit of heat coming on one side and a lot of heat and even smoke coming um, off uh, the bottom side there you can see it there and the worst of it is that that side stays there the lit side stays on this side and the uh triangular shape sort of continues to point the other way even while it's spiraling here's a lunar wave not very strong but very strong yes and strong enough to be able to see one or two uh, ripples going by now this doesn't happen there you'll see it there as i go forward and backwards Pretty cool to see it. This was the object coming down to the moon that's going to hit the moon hours after India had crash landed Beersheet on the moon. Have any of you ever seen the James Webb telescope? It's supposed to come out at the end of the year. It was supposed to come out in March 2021, but I think they delayed it because of either the COVID or, or whatever. In August 2021, the end of August, I guess this object check it out should be james here. webb space telescope i was talking about it this afternoon or yesterday with a community member it's a space telescope that is it's exciting to be the successor of hubble space telescope the james webb space telescope will so they say provide greatly improved resolution and sensitivity over the hubble it will also enable a broad range of investigations across the fields of astronomy cosmology, including observing some of the most distant events and objects in the universe, such as formations of the first galaxies. Other goals include understanding the formation of obviously stars, planets, direct imaging, exoplanets, and novas. The primary mirror of the telescope, the optical telescope element, is composed of 16 hexagonal mirror segments, which combine to create a 6.5 meter, yes, 21 foot, 260 inches diameter mirror that is much larger than the Hubble's 2.4 meter, 7.9 foot, 94 inch mirror. Unlike the Hubble, which observes in the near ultraviolet visible and near infrared 0.1 to 1 nanometer spectrum, the James Webb Telescope will observe in a lower frequency range from a long wavelength visible light through mid-infrared. I wonder who's driving it. And this is what the James Space Telescope is supposed to replace, the Hubble Space Telescope. Hubble Space Telescope is a space telescope that was launched into low Earth orbit in 1990. It was not the first space telescope, but is one of the largest and most versatile and is well known as both a vital research tool and a public relation boon for astronomy. The Hubble telescope was built by the United States Space Agency, NASA, with contributions from the European Space Agency, the Space Telescope Science Institute. Hubble features a 2.4 meter, 7.9 foot mirror, and its four main instruments observe in the ultraviolet, visible, and near-infrared regions of the electromagnetic spectrum. Hubble's orbit outside the distortion of Earth's atmosphere allows it to take extremely high-resolution images with substantially low background light than ground-based telescopes. It has recorded some of the most detailed visible light images allowing a deep view into space. 
to see, but it's getting very exciting. And whether they tell us the truth or not, if they have to speak, it's for whatever the reason, whatever treaties ended. Um, look back in history, only 10, 20 years, guys and gals, and we're seeing so much evidence. Um, there's a timeline, a pattern that's being created, and this all makes sense. It really does. Houston, say again, please.